Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see by the title and by the image here on the screen, um, I have a review of uh, one of Etcher's uh, bags for artists. Now, Etcher's a relatively uh, new company, um, but the products that they do, the bags that they do, uh, are specifically aimed at artists. Now, over on their website, they have four products at the minute that you can go across and purchase. Uh, four fantastic products in my opinion actually I've seen obviously I've only got this one that I've actually personally used but I've seen reviews of the other ones uh, the main one that they the first one and the main one that they do is the art satchel now a lot of artists have done reviews on that it's a much bigger bag than this um, holds a lot more stuff I suppose that'd be more for the artist that's going out for an entire day or something like that and would need lots and lots of different supplies with them so the art satchel is their main bag then they have the Slate, which is this one, and the Slate Mini. Um, <clears throat> I'll come back to these ones in a second. Uh, and then the other one that they have is a Field Case, which is kind of like, um, I suppose it's like a bigger pencil case thing, but it's it's much more than that. Um, but that's kind of roughly the size of it. You know those pencil cases that hold all the pencils? Uh, it's kind of like a journal thing. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, it, it's the next product that I will be buying. Uh, just for myself, but I'll also be reviewing it here on the channel. Uh, I've seen it on their website. It looks absolutely amazing, um, as do all their products, as is this product, which um, I'm now going to go through with you and uh, hopefully show you. Now, the thing is, um, ordinarily, to review a product like this, I would need to be standing up, uh, I would need to be moving about, and I would need to have somebody holding a camera so that, you know, do all that stuff. Um, Unfortunately, I'm unable to do all of that because of my back and I don't have anybody to hold a camera for me. It really needs somebody like that to be able to demonstrate the bag properly. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that. So I've had to commandeer my eldest daughter and youngest daughter. Uh, I've taken some photographs of them holding the bags, the way the bags are supposed to be held and used and the, the unique features that are on them that are specifically aimed at artists. So ho I'm hoping that this review will be okay and um, I'm hoping that you understand that I've had to do it this way. So the bag is is made of, it's not waterproof but it's water resistant. Now I took this bag with me to the Lake District, I took it down and put it into some fast moving water, I didn't fully submerge it or anything like that um, and the bag upheld really well, nothing inside it got wet or anything like that. They do make it very clear on the website, it's water resistant, not waterproof. They explain the differences between the two and the reason why it's not waterproof as opposed to water resistant. So when you go across to their website, you can read all of that. The material itself, I mean, it gets a very sturdy bag, well made, very, very tough. Um, the actual bag itself is kind of like a polyester shell, which is all this gray stuff. But then they have this tough tech stuff here on the bits of the bag that are going to be used the most or touched the most which is here on the flap obviously people are going to be lifting it and peeling it off um, so it's kind of like a rubber material it's like tires or something I don't know uh, and right here on the bottom as well of the bag which is where it's going to be placed on the ground most and dragged about that type of thing but the actual overall material on the bag is really tough and sturdy in my opinion um, also, uh, another thing that's really, really interesting, the, the, the company has chose to make sure that all the products that they've used for the bag are vegan friendly. Now, I know for some people that it, it doesn't matter one way or the other, but there's obviously a large group of people out there where things like that matter. And so Etcher have taken that into consideration um, and it, it's, it is what it is. And I think it's a great thing that they've done. The, um, the bag itself, we have here kind of like this pocket on on the flap. Um, as you can see here, it's got this zip that runs along here. And you, you can see in the images that I'm bringing up now that the zip itself is completely uh, covered by a membrane, which gives it the water-resistant feel that they have to the bag. But inside here, inside the pocket, there's kind of like a gray felt this pocket here is really for stuff that you want to grab hold of quick without having to start opening and closing the bag. Things like a wallet, keys, your mobile phone, maybe a Kindle, that type of thing. They all fit into there perfectly well. And then zip over and it's all going to be waterproof. Then the actual flap of the bag. Just let me open the bag here. Uh, you've got two big Velcro patches here. 
Um, if I turn the bag over on its side, you can see here that there's obviously a lot of give. So you can put magazines or your sketch pads or whatever it is that you're going to be taking out with you in here. Um, and like I say, it has this soft grey felt on the inside. Um, on the back of the bag, you have kind of like a, a, a grab and go handle, which is really handy. Uh, you have D rings here on the top of the bag and the bottom of the bag. Now, I know a lot of you probably think that's a little bit odd, but those D rings will come into you. They'll, they'll become a lot more apparent later on as we go on. Because the design of the bag is like a messenger style bag, you get this shoulder strap in there as well. Now, the strap is really strong, it's kind of like made of seatbelt material. Uh, you have these clips here which are made of metal and they go on the d-rings and then you also have this pad which can come off but is there for obviously comfort uh, slides up and down the um, the strap and the strap is fully adjustable as well so these are all things that come with the bag obviously the inside of the bag is where everything happens and again it's got these really strong sturdy zips here and that are covered with this membrane which opens and closes the bag all the way around and so then we open the bag up just let me move this stuff out of the way so this is the the actual drawn surface of the bag and when I, these terms will become more apparent as the review goes along and you get to see what this bag can do. So here on the corner, we have these little corner tabs. Let me take this off. As you can hear there, they're, they're Velcro. They're stuck on by Velcro, but they're very tough. You have these little elastic um, tags here, which hold in place um, your iPad or your... Um, any other digital device that you might want to use or some paper pad watercolor paper whatever it is you're going to be using but they're fully adjustable and they can move about um, the one thing about the the actual um, slates that I should do is like I said to you they do the um, slate and then the slate mini both these um, bags were kind of designed with digital art and traditional art in mind so with the satchel um there's a lot of space in there for an ipad that type, or sorry um a laptop that type of thing that's the bigger bag but with the slate and the slate mini these are actually two bags for that can be used with um the ipad with the the pen that the ipad has or say like the Samsung Galaxy Note or any other uh, drawn digital device that you might have. Now the reason why that there's two slates, there's a slate and a slate mini is because the slate which is this one here will comfortably hold the bigger iPad Pro which I believe is 12 point something in size. Then the slate mini is more designed and aimed towards the, the 10.1 iPad Pro I think it is. Obviously, both of these um, bags will hold smaller devices uh, like the iPad Mini or um, the 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 nine-inch iPad or devices, other devices in and around that size that you can draw with. So both the slates were kind of like designed with all of this in in mind. Hence, the reason why all of these can be moved and adjusted uh, to whatever size you want to use them. So just let me demonstrate. I've got some old art here that I had. And you would just place them in here. And as I was saying to you as well, with these corner tabs, these little gray flecks that are in here, these are not just there for decoration. They're actual rubber and they're stitched into the elastic and it allows uh, a better grip of whether it's a digital device or whether it's just a pad or something like that that you're using, but it, it's very, very well done. And as you can see here, the stitching on this is superb. I mean, like I'm giving that a real hard tug and it's not coming off. There's two, there's two different bits in there, as you can see, both of them lift off. And I would suggest that the, the iPad or whatever it is that you're 
securing would go in between the both of them because if you can see there there's those little rubber bits those little rubber flex are on that side and this side as well so they're they're all the way through it so you would hold that in place there likewise down at the bottom here and this was what's so really good about this you know these because these just lift off and move about you can just Put anything in there, like an A5 pad or something like that, or an iPad mini, like I was saying. Too. But once it's there, you're good to go, and it's a real hard surface as well. So this is this backboard here is sturdy, and there's something on the back of it which gives it that rigidity. But I'll show you that in a second. Um, so just let me lift this off. Now there's another device that comes with this bag, which is I think amazing. I'll show you that now. So this is it. When I first seen this, I really hadn't got a clue what it was, what it was going to be used for or anything like that. But as you can see, it, it, it again has these little Velcro things and it has this drawstring that you can adjust. And the reason why this is in the bag and used is if you are out and about and you have like um, a sketch pad like this, that you want to open out and place down on here obviously these little tags aren't going to be able to secure a, a pad such as this in place so all you would do is place these like like so and then tighten the drawstring and keep the pad in place and as you can see there the pad is secure in place it's not going to move about it's not going to fall off or anything like that um, it doesn't really affect any of your drawing space obviously on this side here but then you would just you know flip it flip it round when you start using one side or the other so that's what this little device is for very very handy very ingenious idea of just another method of being able to hold different pads and things like that in place So the other side of the bag is where you hold all your products and your tools. Now there's this kind of net bag which completely comes off. It unzips all the way around or you can just kind of unzip one side or a couple of sides of it and uh, allow your products to go in here. The net obviously keeps anything, if, if anything becomes loose or anything like that, if you've got a few extra paint brushes or pens that you want to put in there, that, that's what the net in is for. But as you can see here as well, there's this Velcro strip. There's two of them. Uh, you can put your pens and markers or paintbrushes or pencils, whatever it is that you have. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then position them any which way you want. If you notice there, I have my iPad Pro pen in there because obviously I'd be using my iPad. Um, but a very ingenious way of keeping all your stuff safe. The reason why they're all in these Velcro bits, again, this will all become apparent in a second when I show you the, the two methods that you can use this bag for, which basically transforms the bag into an, um, an easel. So let's just, we'll zip over this for the time being. And then let's have a look at the back of the bag. So if you have a look there, this is where the drawing side was and I was telling you it was all it's hard and rigid which is exactly what you want for a drawn surface <clears throat> one of the reasons why it is like that is this backboard now this backboard can come out there's I mean it gets still it's still hard the backboard isn't the only thing that's given it it's rigidity but um, this can come out if you want to you just unzip this and then you would take it out uh, I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but it, it, the option's there if you want. So, the reason why this is here is for attaching this. So, for everybody that has got a camera or a camcorder or anything they got, you'll know what this thing is. You just attach this into this hole.
and then the bag becomes attachable to uh, your tripod that you have ordinarily for your cameras. And then the bag itself is um, a, an easel. So if you look at the images that I'm showing you here now, you'll be able to see that the section that I showed you where all your pens and pencils and stuff they got going, that kind of like just drapes down in front of the, um, the tripod in between the artist and the tripod, giving you easy access to the materials that you want to grab hold of. Whilst making sure that the drawing surface is on top and it's safe and it's secure, this backboard obviously gives it the strength that you need um, to be able to clip it onto one, uh, like a tripod in the first place. And obviously then with your tripod, you can adjust it in any which way you, you know you want. Uh, size wise and I'm um, talking about so that's that's I mean it, when I seen that and I was able to put this together and actually seen it on the tripod I was I just thought to myself you know this is fantastic and this is what these guys have done um, they've created these products for artists to be able to go out in the field take their supplies with them uh, and there's so many different ways that these bags can be used. They're not just like your ordinary run-of-the-mill conventional bags. You just grab your stuff and go. Um, these bags are actually for artists. So as I was showing you earlier on uh, in the beginning, the, the four D rings, the two at the top and two at the bottom. So ordinarily, the way you would run things is uh, with the messenger bag, you would have these two clipped onto the top two D rings. Just let me move this down. Uh, they would be clipped onto the top two D-rings uh, and you would just walk around with your bag as is. When you get to somewhere that you think you're going to want to stand and paint or draw, like if you're in a mountain area or you're out in a town, you see a beautiful architecture that you want to draw, something like that. It's really quite simple to just turn this bag into an easel where your shoulder is the support and kind of your stomach as well or your chest, depending on how high you want this to be. Now, when you first get the bag, it does take a little bit of getting used to um, working out which way you unclip this. Because what you need to do is, with one of these D-rings, depending on whether you're left or right-handed, you unclip it and you put it on the opposite bottom one. So as you can see here, it would be unclipped like that. Or if you're left-handed, it would be unclipped like this. It clips in. The bag folds back on itself, so just let me demonstrate that. So the bag itself folds right completely back on itself. And then you would have the, the shoulder strap. I'm showing you some images here as well of my daughter actually holding this. Um, but the shoulder strap would be clipped onto the D-rings on either side like that. Uh, and around the shoulder, as you can see, my daughter demonstrating. And then with the, um, the tripod, it was okay for the, the, the section where all your pens is to kind of dangle down because you're stationary. But here, this way allows you to walk around and do as you, you, you please. So what they've done is, They've got a, a little clip here on the top of each side of the bag and it can be adjusted as well to tighten everything up and that just keeps the bag folded back on itself. So this stuff here would be on the bottom as you can see in the images and then your, your drawing side is faced up and you can just walk around and use this bag as you please, where you please. Um, you've got all your supplies. You don't, you know, your hands are free to draw or paint while all your supplies are safe and your drawn surface is safe. Um, you can take your hands off the bag and it's still going to stay where it is. It's, you know, over your shoulder uh, and wedged in kind of or resting against your stomach. So, it's, I think it's fantastic the way they've given you both methods to be able to use this as an easel. 
So you've got your tripod or you've got your shoulder strap. Either which way, one allows you to walk around, the other one is a more static option. Um, and uh, don't forget as well, you can use this with obviously digital devices as well, which is kind of what they had in mind when they were designing this. Uh, because a lot of people now, with the iPad Pro and the Samsung Galaxy tablets that are out there as well, uh, digital art is becoming more accessible and much more easy uh, for people to get hold of. Uh, just run of the mill starter artists, I suppose, is a way of saying it. So the, anyway, guys, that's it. Um, I'll have a lot more details over on my written review in terms of prices and the dimensions of the, um, the Slate and the Slate Mini. But the Slate and the Slate Mini are very similar. But um, I'll have all that information over in the Art Gear Guide on my written review, uh, as I will do with the dimensions. But if you basically remember that the slate, which is this one, the big one, that one is for the 12-inch the uh, iPad Pro and the slate mini. That holds uh, the 10-inch one. So uh, while it's a slate mini, it's still a fair size. Um, and that's, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope the images that I've taken have been good enough and... Uh, demonstrating this bag to you properly um, in a way that I wasn't able to do. Um, thank you so much for um, all the generous donations that I've received lately. Um, I'm completely overwhelmed with all the generosity from you guys. Um, all the money that I have, I know a lot of people like to remain anonymous who make donations and they absolutely do, but at the same time um, i just like to say thank you for all the donations. Um, also, just finally before I go, if you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, all the links for that will be down below in the description. They'll also be over in the Art Gear Guide. They're the best ways if you want to be kept up to date with um, notifications, that type of thing, when a, uh, a new product review is out or new artwork is out. They're probably the best ways of uh, getting hold of me. So anyway, guys, thanks very much, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.